Hi, it's Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a bunch of products in front of me and I'm gonna be sharing all my favorite beauty, lifestyle, uh, hair, makeup, uh, products that I've been loving in 2023. First off, we're gonna start with hair products. And the, my number one product from 2023 has been the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. And I absolutely love this for my hair. My hair is very oily, as you can see. You can see my roots and it's also colored. So this uh, product is great for colored hair. Uh, it's very lightweight, um, a very light mist um, spray. And it's a heat protectant and just a like a restorer for dry dry ends on your hair and you apply it wet then um, you spray it all around your hair all through your hair give your hair a brush and then you go and blow dry your hair my second product that i would recommend for 2023 is the shiswaskvi i can never say that word but um the mousse they super hold mousse um this is a very uh, lightweight mousse with a super hold and you always have to give it a good shake and then um, you just squirt it out on your hand. I'm not going to do it now so I don't want to waste the product. Squirt it out on your hand and then just place it on top of your hair and just rub it through and comb it through with your fingers and then give your hair a good brush and it will give it a super hold. Another hair product that I've been liking for 2023 is the Systems Professional uh, Hair Oil. And this works for very light, uh, very fine, very frizzy hair, and especially colored hair, it's great for that too. And I've been loving this product so much. You can see that the label is like coming off and you can see the brown is wearing away. I've had this for so long. I don't even think it's a favorite product of 2023. I think it's a favorite product of my life. Like I clung onto this. I've had some bad hair stages and this has been my tried and true favorite product over, over all the other ones. This one here has been my favorite. Some tools I think you need for doing your hair in the morning is a tail comb. Now I'd think only hairdressers need a tail comb, but no, you could you use this tail part of the comb and it gets you a very precise uh, hair part. Also, I think that you need the clips. They're just the non-dent clips. So when you place them in your hair like this, when your hair is wet, you can do your makeup and whatever and go on, on your day and then you take them out and it's meant to not create a dent in your hair and a bump and a bump especially if you have cowlicks you can use it to flatten down your cowlick at the front recently i've been trying to build a great skincare routine and along the way i found some great products but some of the products i've found that have worked to take my makeup off is the um, Mecca Cosmetics Nourishing Oil. This just uh, washes it away so nicely. Then I also have the Clinique Take Off The Day Cleansing Balms. Now cleansing balm is more like a sort of a balm feeling and you just rub it between your fingers and wash it all over your um, face and it just melts all your makeup right off, even over your eyes everywhere down your neck and it just washes it right off. Then I go in with the um, Clinique, all about clean, two-in-one cleansing exfoliating jelly. I absolutely love this uh, face wash because it has, uh, I'll show you, it has um, exfoliating beads. I don't know if you can see that, but these tiny little exfoliating beads inside this uh, face wash and um, it just helps to exfoliate your skin uh, during the day and wipe all that dead um, skin off and all that leftover makeup because let's be honest these oils and 
cleansing balms, they don't take off 100% of your makeup, so you've got to know that um, you're taking off 100% so that none of, the, none of it's staying on because it creates more pimples and just more problems with your skin. It also nourishes your skin and gives other benefits, like this is um, anti-pollution, it has um, all sorts of um, benefits to it, like nice in the mind, other things inside it that help um, plump up your skin. After I use um, face wash, I go in with a toner. Now my toner of choice is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. Now I've used this for quite a while now and I've come to the conclusion that um, toner is not really a step that you need in your skincare. If you're starting out, you can take a miss on toner, but after a while you do start to notice that um, that is a necessary step as you become more expert in your skills. The Charlotte Tilbury one does a great job. I can't say if other ones work because I've never used other ones. This is the only one I've used, but this one is great. After I go in with toner, I generally go in with a serum. I've tried the ordinary, the niacinamide one, but I felt it was quite strong and it kind of stung when it soaked into my skin. So I switched to this one here, this is the vitamin B3 um, serum and I absolutely love it. It helps with my acne, it helps hydrate my skin and it also helps take away those dead skin cells. After I use a serum, I generally go in with a moisturizer. Now the two moisturizers that I've absolutely loved is the Matisse Paris. I absolutely love this one here so much to the point where I've used it completely up. But I found that it was quite heavy. Um, it didn't really soak into my skin the way I wanted it to. So I went and tried another one, Clarins. I tried the Clarins uh, Hydra Essential Moisturizer. As you can see I'm still trying it out now but so far I found it um, absolutely amazing it's great underneath makeup I'm wearing it now underneath this makeup and it's it makes your makeup all um, hydrated makes it look all shiny helps with the, your dry skin and I feel even if you're oily or combination skin type I feel you still need a good hydrating um, moisturizer After I use moisturizer, I go in with sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important because of the UV rays and um, skin cancer. And I've seen people in my family get skin cancer and I'm not willing to risk um, getting skin cancer. It's deadly. Um, I think that um, sunscreen, if you're not gonna apply any of these products, just apply sunscreen. It's gonna help with aging. Um, it helps with skin cancer. It helps with wrinkles. Um, it's just overall the best product, but the one that I um, really like is the this one here. I can never pronounce this brand, La, La Roche Posay or something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it, but that is the um, sunscreen. It's SPF 50. Um, you do have to shake this up for a lot. It is very, 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 very liquidy um, but besides that it's very lightweight doesn't give off a potent smell which is really good and um, it's one of the best ones on the market and to finish my skincare off I generally like to go in with the um, glow recipe their watermelon glow niacinamide drops uh, you can use this in conjunction to the vitamin B3, but I like to use it at the end because it's more of a sort of a makeup um, product. It gives a shine and a glow and to your makeup and really helps that. And at the very end, I really like to use a perfume to set my skincare, to set my makeup. Um, I really like to use the Daisy, the Marc Jacobs, perfume it just gives off a lovely floral scent nice and fresh scent I love the bottles the bottles look stunning who wouldn't love the bottles I really want the whole collection so I think I'm gonna buy the whole collection but um, these are just tried and true great 
great ones in the market if you're willing to start out um, with um, fragrances and don't know where to start, this brand is brilliant.